We will learn how to learn more effectively using ChatGPT in this video. We are going to do that by exploring four different areas of learning. We will begin by using ChatGPT to create a study plan. That will be followed by using ChatGPT as a foreign language teacher, then using ChatGPT to deconstruct complex terms, then we will conclude by using ChatGPT to create flashcards. Each area of learning will include prompts that you can replicate. We can now dive into the first area of learning, using ChatGPT to create a study plan. Creating a study plan is often the first step in mastering a subject, but we are sometimes limited by our lack of understanding of the subject. This is where ChatGPT can help. I will demonstrate how we can use ChatGPT to create a study plan by deconstructing two instruction prompts. I will deconstruct each prompt into four components. Task, input, output and context. Here is the first instruction prompt. Create a 20 hour study plan for learning poker as a beginner. Tailor the study plan around the 20 hour principle described by Josh Kaufman in the first 20 hours. And make sure I am learning the 20% that will give me 80% of the results. ChatGPT will output a comprehensive study plan from this instruction prompt. Creating something like this would have taken us a considerable amount of time. Here is the prompt deconstructed. One task. Create a 20 hour study plan for learning poker as a beginner. Two input. There are two inputs in this prompt. The first input is the requirement to tailor the study plan around the 20 hour principle described by Josh Kaufman in the first 20 hours. And the second input is to ensure that the plan focuses on learning the 20% of poker knowledge that will yield 80% of the results. Free output. This is a combination of the task and input. We want a comprehensive 20 hour study plan that outlines how to efficiently learn poker as a beginner. For context. It is not entirely unique in this prompt but we can classify the goal of learning poker as a beginner as context. The time frame can also be classed as context. Now comes the second instruction prompt. Output the study plan again, but add resources I should use for each hour of learning. The resources should consist of books and videos. ChatGPT will now expand on its previous output. It will provide us with the resources to incorporate into each study area. This would have taken us a considerable amount of time to put together. And here is the prompt deconstructed. One task. We want ChatGPT to output the previously generated study plan, but we want ChatGPT to include the resources we should incorporate into our study. Two input. There are two inputs again. The first is the requirement to output the study plan again, and the second input is that the resources must be books and videos only. Free output. The desired output is the study plan, but we now require the study plan to include the required books and videos. 
for context. The context for this prompt is the previously generated study plan. That concludes the first area of learning using ChatGPT to create a study plan. We can now cover the next learning area using ChatGPT as a foreign language teacher. We must speak a language to become fluent in it. ChatGPT does not have voice capability yet, but we can still use it as a language teacher. We can use it as a text foreign language teacher. That is something which can save us both time and money. I will demonstrate how we can use ChatGPT as a foreign language teacher by deconstructing two role prompts. I will deconstruct each prompt into four components. Task, input, output and context. Here is the first role prompt. You are my French teacher. Provide me with a short paragraph in French. CEFR level A1. I will translate it to English. Tell me if it is correct or incorrect. If it is incorrect, please explain why in English. ChatGPT will acknowledge the role it is playing as a French teacher. It will then execute the remainder of the prompt. Here is the prompt deconstructed. One task. We prompt ChatGPT to act as a French teacher. We also state that it should provide a short paragraph to translate. Two, input. This consists of two components. The first input is the instruction to act as a French teacher, and the second input is to provide paragraphs at level CEFR A1. Three, output. There are two outputs in this prompt. The first is similar to the input where ChatGPT should provide a paragraph at level CEFRA1. Then the second output is where ChatGPT should evaluate our translation and provide feedback if required. For context, this is similar to the task where we prompt ChatGPT to act as a French teacher. That helps in providing a more accurate French paragraph at level CEFR A1. Now comes the second role prompt. Provide me with another short paragraph in French CEFR level A2. ChatGPT will now provide another paragraph to translate but this paragraph will be one CEFR level above the previous one. And here is the prompt deconstructed. One task. The entire prompt in this example is the task. Two, input. This is similar to the task because it is a one line prompt. We want a short paragraph in French and we want the paragraph to be CEFR level A2. Three, output. We want ChatGPT to output another short paragraph in French. Four, context. There is no unique context in this prompt, but mentioning CEFR level A2 can be classified as the context in this prompt. That concludes this learning area using ChatGPT as a foreign language teacher. We can now cover the third learning area. Use ChatGPT to deconstruct complex terms. We will naturally come across strange terms when learning a new subject. 
but we no longer have to waste time reading SEO-optimized thousand-word articles. We can prompt ChatGBT for a definition suitable for our level. I will demonstrate how to use ChatGPT to deconstruct popular terms by deconstructing one explanatory prompt. I will deconstruct it into four components, task, input, output, and context. Here is the prompt. Explain pot odds in poker like I am five with an example. We reference the popular explain like I am five Reddit group in this prompt. That will nudge ChatGPT towards generating an output that we can comprehend. Here is the prompt deconstructed. One task. It is simple in this prompt. We want ChatGPT to explain the terms between triple quotes. And we want ChatGPT to explain it in simple terms. Two input. There are two subtle inputs in this prompt. The first is the term, i.e. pot odds, and the second is how we want to explain, i.e. explain it like I am five. Free output. This is simple again. We want ChatGPT to output a simple explanation. Four context. There is no specific context in this prompt but there would be context if we elaborated on how we want to explain. That concludes this learning area. Use ChatGPT to deconstruct complex terms. We can now cover the final learning area. Use ChatGPT to create flashcards. Creating flashcards is important when learning a new subject. It helps us to remember important concepts. It does not matter whether your flashcards are physical or digital. The important thing is that you use flashcards. Free software like Anki is recommended. I will demonstrate how we can use ChatGPT to create flashcards by deconstructing two task prompts. I will deconstruct each prompt into four components. Task, input, output and context. Here is the first task prompt. Output a list of 20 common French phrases with English translations. ChatGPT will generate a list of words we can use for flashcards in moments. Here is the prompt deconstructed. One task. This is a simple prompt. The task is also simple. We want ChatGPT to generate a list of 20 French phrases. Two, input. This is a simple prompt. The input is also simple again. The input is where we mention 20 common phrases with English translations. Three, output. We want ChatGPT to return a list of 20 phrases for context. There is no specific context in this prompt. We are assuming that ChatGPT understands both French and English text. Thankfully it does. Now comes the second task prompt. Convert the previous output into a CSV file. Column 1 for the French phrases, column two for the English translations. Output inside a code block. ChatGPT will now convert the previous output into a CSV file with the defined columns. And here is the prompt deconstructed. One task. Convert the previous output into a CSV file. Two, input. The input consists of two components. The first is the previous output 
and the second is where we have defined the column titles. Three, output. We want ChatGPT to output a CSV file, which includes the information generated from the previous output. Four, context. The context is the previous output. That concludes this learning area. Use ChatGPT to create flashcards. And that concludes this video on learning more efficiently using ChatGPT. There are many other ways we can apply these prompts. It is time to deploy these techniques to learn whatever subject is next on your list.